A few days ago, I ran across the um, original Quake 1 CD, and I decided to see if I could get it running onto Linux. Nostalgia messed with me. It looked like this. And I remember Quake looking like this. Let's make that happen. Let's head to the Iculus.org website and some forward slash twilight forward slash dark places. It reminds you of 1999, but there's some screenshots of the current dark places mod if you want to take a look at what you're getting into. Let's go ahead and download this. Um, first thing you're going to need is the dark places engine. Then to make it look really nice. We're going to get the um, Rigel's 2.7 gigabyte Ultra Pack. It's a three-part archive. The three files you'll need, part two, part one, and part three, not necessarily in that order, but you will not need the texture pack or this other texture zip file. I've already downloaded them for the sake of time. Now before we get started, you will need to install the original Quake, or at least extract the um, pack files from the ID1 folder. So I'm going to mount that with the Archive Manager, and go into the Data Directory. And in the ID1 folder you'll have Pack 0 and Pack 1. I'm just going to go ahead and extract that. Let's create a new folder called Quake. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, there's our pack files. Now we'll have to change the ID1 to lowercase, since Linux is case sensitive and DOS was not. Now let's install the Dark Places engine, which is going to extract everything to our Quake folder. No, we're done with that. If you want, you can go ahead and give the game a go. You can use the um, Dark Places Linux 686 SDL for 32-bit, or if you're on x86-64. GLX files are provided for older systems, but I've had no luck getting those to run. Okay, let's make it look pretty. We'll try to open our raw archive, and you'll see it's not supported out of the box you're going to need a copy of Unraw. So let's fire up Synaptic. Key in Unraw. You want to get regular Unraw. Unraw free right now is rubbish. It doesn't work very well. So let's get that installed. Okay, let's give that another go. Now, all three of those raw archives create the um, pack 3 file, which is just a zip file. So let's just double click on that and it'll extract everything and we'll open up the actual pack file. Okay. So we want to take everything here and extract it into our Quake ID1 folder. Okay, now that that's done, let's close out. If we go to the ID1 folder, you can see a few new things have been added in with the high resolution texture pack. Now let's start it up and give it a try. Oh, <laughs> 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 